All right, so are you ready to dive in? Because today we're tackling the question every aspiring podcaster wants to know. The big one. Can you actually yeah. make money creating a podcast? You guys sent over a ton of research for this one. We got insights from some huge names in the game. Oh, yeah. Stephen Bartlett from Diary of a CEO. Big fan. The always insightful Pat Flynn. Love his work. Even some data on average podcast earnings from Shelby Church's research. This is going to be good. So our mission today is to cut through all the noise and give you the real deal about podcast monetization. It's not all sunshine and roses. Definitely not. But there's serious potential there if you know what you're doing. Exactly. And that's what we're here to figure out. Let's do it. Now it's tempting to think downloads are the only thing that matters. Right. Like more downloads equals more money. But our sources paint a much more interesting picture. Way more nuanced. Let's start with Stephen Bartlett. Okay. He's killing it with Diary of a CEO bringing in over $1.2 million a year. That's not chump change. Not at all. I mean, that completely shuts down the argument that podcasting can't be a real job. Right. It's a business. But here's what's even cooler. Jordan Harbinger, also featured in Shelby's research, proves you don't need to be a huge name to start generating some income. I love that. He's using Anchor. Which is perfect for smaller podcasts. Exactly. And he's making a consistent side income from it. So it's like proof of concept. You can make this work even starting small. You absolutely can. And what's fascinating is how they're actually making that money. Bartlett's big on going directly to brands, cutting out the middleman. Like those podcast ad networks? Which often take a huge cut. Yeah, he landed sponsorships with big names like Huel and Fiverr. Wow. Just by pitching himself and his vision directly to them. That's smart. And it totally aligns with Shelby's research on ad revenue. Which showed that earnings can be all over the place. And those networks often take a massive chunk of the pie. Exactly. Uh -huh. So it's not about chasing the biggest paycheck. Yeah. It's about finding brands that actually vibe with your audience. A perfect match. Now, speaking of attracting the right audience, Pat Flynn blew my mind with all the different ways you can monetize a podcast. He's like the monetization guru. Right. He talks about affiliate marketing, where you earn a commission for recommending products. Like Amazon's affiliate program. Yep. And he's a huge advocate for selling your own products or services. Which makes a lot of sense if you think about it. Totally. Yeah. But what really stood out to me was his concept of working in public. I love that idea. Me too. Mm -hmm. So instead of just launching a product out of the blue, you share your entire creation process with your audience. So they're invested from day one. Exactly. It builds mm -hmm. anticipation and trust. They see all the work you're putting in. And it makes them way more likely to buy when the product finally drops. Plus they feel like they were part of the journey. Exactly. And speaking of journeys, perfect segue. This feels like a great time to remind everyone about an incredible resource for anyone interested in affiliate marketing. Oh, yeah, for sure. This is life changing stuff. Make sure you visit ryangarvin.com. That's Brian with an I, and get your free affiliate guide titled 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. I can't recommend this guide enough. It's packed with over 12,300 words of pure gold. All for free. Just submit your name and email and click the verification link sent to your inbox. The link is in Brian's YouTube bio. All right, back to our regularly scheduled deep dive. We've got a lot more to unpack. So we've talked about different ways to make money, but Bartlett really hammers home the importance of consistency. Like actually showing up for your audience. Right. He even compares it to building any other habit. Which is so true. It's about integrating your podcast into your listeners' routine. They know when to expect a new episode. It becomes part of their week. It's like that feeling of anticipation for your favorite TV show. But get this. He's even deleted episodes that didn't meet his standards. What? Really? Yeah. Which might seem extreme. It does. But it shows how much he values his listeners' time. Makes sense. They're trusting you to deliver something worth listening to. It's like you're serving them a meal. And you don't want to give them a half-baked dish. Definitely not. You want to bring your A-game every single time. And that's where the concept of owning real estate in your listeners' minds comes in. Ah, uh, yes. Mike Vestal's brilliant metaphor. Right? He was featured in Shelby's research, too. He's awesome. And basically, the more engaged your audience is, the more valuable that real estate becomes. Because you're building a loyal following. Exactly. And podcasting is the perfect medium for that. Why is that? Because unlike a quick tweet or Instagram post, Podcasts allow for those longer, more in-depth conversations. It's like you're having a one-on-one -on -one chat with each listener. They're letting you into their lives, their commutes, their workouts, even their chores. That's a powerful level of intimacy. Which you don't get with other media. It's true. 
And speaking of valuable connections, mm -hmm. Stephen Bartlett actually points out an unexpected perk of podcasting. Oh, I'm intrigued. The relationships he's built with his guests. Really? Yeah. He says he's formed some genuine friendships through his podcast. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. And he attributes it to the vulnerability that comes with those in-depth conversations. Wow. So it's not just about the business side of things. Yeah, way. It's okay. about expanding your network and making meaningful connections. It sounds like podcasting can even be a catalyst for personal growth. Absolutely. He talked about how the process of analyzing his own life for the podcast Interesting. made him more self-aware and insightful. So it's not just about making money. It's about enriching your life in unexpected ways. And speaking of enriching your life... Did someone say affiliate marketing? Remember that awesome resource we mentioned earlier? Oh, yeah, Brian's free guide. Make sure you head over to briangarvin.com. That's Brian with an I. You got it. And download his free affiliate guide, 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. That's a game changer. Over 12,300 words of pure gold. Simply submit your name and email. And click the verification link sent to your inbox. The link is in Brian's YouTube bio. Okay. Let's get back to this deep dive. We've established that consistency is key, but Bartlett also emphasizes the importance of quality. So it's not just about churning out content. Right. He's very intentional about crafting each episode to deliver real value to his listeners. Quality over quantity. Exactly. Yeah. And that's such a crucial distinction in today's world. How so? Because you're not just competing for downloads. You're competing for attention in a world that's completely saturated with content. It's true. You have to give people a reason to choose your podcast over the millions of others out there. So you've got to stand out. Exactly. And quality is a huge part of that. Makes sense. And that's where strategy comes in. Bartlett didn't just stumble into those lucrative sponsorships. He had a plan. Oh, yeah. He identified companies that he actually used and loved. Smart. Crafted a compelling pitch and reached out directly to their CEOs. So he was proactive, not just sitting around waiting for opportunities. Exactly. You have to create those opportunities. And that proactive mindset applies to everything in podcasting. Content creation, audience engagement. Everything. Remember Vestal's real estate metaphor. You got to make people want to live there. Right. It's not enough to just build a house. You need to make it a home. People need to want to visit. Cultivate that community. That feeling that your listeners are part of something special. And that's where podcasting really shines. That intimacy. You can connect with your audience on a much deeper level than with like a blog post or social media update. For sure. It's a different kind of connection. And when you create that kind of connection, monetization becomes a natural next step. Like an extension of that relationship. Exactly. It's not about tricking people into buying stuff. It's about offering them something genuinely valuable. Something that enhances their lives. And that value can come in so many forms. Entertainment education, inspiration, you name it. And speaking of inspiration, I think it's important to remember that monetization is just one piece of the puzzle. Sure. Our sources focused heavily on the business side, the money, but there's a whole other dimension to explore the impact you can make. Ah, using your podcast as a platform for good. Exactly. Sharing important stories, sparking conversations, maybe even driving social change. That's powerful stuff. Think about the ripple effect you could create. Amplifying marginalized voices, shedding light on critical issues. Even just connecting people around shared passions. It's about aligning your passion with your purpose. And using your voice to make a difference. Who knows? Maybe that difference will also lead to financial success. It's not impossible. They can go hand in hand. Okay, so let's get back to those practical monetization strategies. Back to the nitty gritty. We've talked about ads, affiliate marketing, and selling your own products or services. Yeah. But what else is out there? Oh, there's a whole world of creative options. Spill the tea. I'm all ears. <laughs> One approach that's gaining traction is crowdfunding. Like Patreon. Exactly. You're essentially inviting your most loyal listeners to directly support your work. In exchange for... Exclusive content perks behind the scenes stuff. So you're building a membership community around your podcast. Giving your biggest fans a VIP experience. I love that. And it allows you to bypass those traditional advertising models. And connect with your audience on a deeper level. Plus it provides a more stable income stream. Which is so important for creators. Stability is key. But let's be real. Building a successful podcast takes time and effort. It's not an overnight thing. Definitely not. Mm. Don't get discouraged if you don't see results right away. Rome wasn't built in a day. And neither is a podcasting empire. You gotta be patient. It's a marathon, not a sprint. Pace yourself, stay hydrated. And keep your eye on the finish line. And speaking of staying hydrated, 
with valuable information. Remember that awesome resource we mentioned earlier? You mean BrianGarvin.com? That's the one Brian with an I. His free affiliate guide, 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate, is packed with over 12,300 words of pure gold. Seriously, it's amazing. All you have to do is enter your name and email. Click the verification link. And boom, you're in. You can find the link in Brian's YouTube bio. Easy peasy. Okay, back to the race. We've covered a lot of ground today, from the nitty-gritty of monetization to the broader impact your podcast can have. It's been a journey. But before we cross that finish line, I want to circle back to the importance of quality over quantity. Couldn't agree more. It's something all of our sources emphasized. From Bartlett deleting subpar episodes to Flynn meticulously crafting his content. It's not about churning out as many episodes as possible. It's about delivering real value to your listeners. Or something they'll actually want to listen to. Like building a house. You wouldn't use cheap materials and shoddy construction just to finish faster. You want something that will last. And that applies to every part of your podcast. The audio quality, the content itself. Respect your listeners' time. Give them something worth their while. And when you do that, you're not just building a podcast. You're building a brand, a and legacy. Something that can outlive you. And that brings us to the heart of it all. The why behind your podcast. The big question. What message do you want to share? Who are you trying to reach? What impact do you want to make? Those are the questions that matter. They'll guide you towards a truly successful podcasting journey. Whether you want to build a million dollar business. Or just share your passion with the world. It all starts with a story. And who knows? Yeah. Maybe that story will change your life. And the lives of countless others. And it's amazing to think about how far podcasting has come right, from this niche thing. To a global phenomenon. A multi-million dollar industry. And it's still evolving, which is what makes it so exciting. New platforms popping up all the time. Tech's getting better. Audiences are getting smarter. It's a wild ride. A dynamic landscape. Full of opportunity. So if someone's listening to this right now, thinking, man, I want to start a podcast. What's the one piece of advice you'd give them based on everything we've learned today? Mm, that's tough. But I'd say... Find your niche. Okay. Hone your craft and be patient. So true. Building an audience takes time. And effort. Don't expect to be the next Stephen Bartlett overnight. It's about playing the long game, showing up consistently, delivering value. Building those relationships with your listeners. Exactly. And never underestimate authenticity. You gotta be yourself. People can smell a fake a mile away. Right. Be real. Let your passion shine through. The right people will find you. It's like that saying, be so good they can't ignore you. Exactly. If you create amazing content. That really resonates. The success will follow. But remember, success doesn't have to mean millions of dollars. Or becoming a household name. It can be as simple as connecting with a small but dedicated community. People who genuinely appreciate what you're doing. It's about defining what success means to you. And chasing it with passion. And speaking of valuable resources. Oh, yeah, we can't forget. We have wow. to tell them about BrianGarvin.com. Brian with an I. His free affiliate guide, 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. It's a must-have for anyone serious about affiliate marketing. Over 12,300 words of pure gold. Just enter your name and email. Click the verification link. And you're good to go. The link's in Brian's YouTube bio. All right, so to bring this deep dive full circle. Can you make money creating podcasts? Absolutely. A resounding yes. But it's a journey. Not a magic bullet. It takes hard work, dedication, and a genuine desire to connect. But if you're willing to put in the effort. The rewards are incredible. Both financially and personally. You might discover new passions. Forge new friendships. Even make a real impact on the world. All while building a sustainable business. We've explored it all. The strategies, the challenges, the unexpected benefits. The stories of those who made it to the top. Now it's your turn. Chart your own course. What story will you tell? What impact will you make? The microphone is waiting. Thanks for joining us on this deep dive into the world of podcasting. We hope you feel inspired, informed, and ready to take that next step. Keep learning, keep growing. And keep those microphones hot. Until next time.